Okay, so this was the uh, wire that was feeding this kitchen outlet here. So we ran our 12-3 up to the uh, kitchen. So we have two circuits in here now. And we're going to disconnect the uh, wires hooked up to the... Uh, we're going to take this wire out of here that was feeding the kitchen circuit. And uh, the kitchen has to be on its own circuits. You have to have two circuits in a kitchen with number 12 on 20 amps. And uh, within six feet of the sink in the kitchen, the outlets must be on the GFI circuit. So we're going to take what was illegal feeding the uh, Cut this wire off of here in the back. We'll look at from the outlet over here. We did a, a very sloppy job putting that bare wire around the green screw. This was the wire that was feeding the kitchen, so it's the uh, top two here. So we're going to take this wire down here. This wire is going to be that's fine enough. I'm not going to walk around with it. And then we'll take our turn these wires off here. And this is a pressure terminal outlet, so we're going to redo these connections here the right way. The way that the outlet was designed for. So we can uh, shorten these wires up some here. And if I have my Phillips, I can screw the box into the wall. I don't necessarily like it. I really would like to have it screwed in the wall. But you know what? If you don't have it, you can't do it. But you know what? There may be one out in, in the truck. Hey, guess what? There was one out in the truck. So we're going to screw this box in. Feel down here, make sure there's no holes in the way. Now screw that in away from the bottom of the box. I'm going to run my wires by hand. It's not going in my ear, so that is definitely going away from the wires. Get the junk out of here, and we will uh, put our we'll strip our wires here with our 14 gauge holes here.
Okay, so first we'll hook our, we'll close the two sets of screws that we're not going to be using. And then we'll put our bare wire around the green screw here. terminal make sure it's going to be long enough to get into the pressure plate and it is so I'll put it in oh, any day up there. make sure it's tight I'll do the same with our black wire and make it straight so it's going in long enough, which it is, I'll put on my pressure plate here, make sure the insulation is not under the Okay, so we'll screw this back into the box, we'll pop it up and down with the black and the white. And we'll keep our ground wire at the top since we're probably going to put it down here. And this one's in the base part. So I'll just double check, make sure that my wires aren't getting hit by the screw. And we are all set.